How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and we have an awesome exciting video for you today. Today, me, uh, Root Junkie, teamed up with GeoSo and Phone Lab all together and we have gone ahead and we've updated our tool Modal Reaper to version 5.0. And 5.0 is a really big change. And the reason it's a big change is because it now functions on the latest security patches for Motorola, like June, July, and August. Um, everything below there for sure is covered as well. And um, this is for 2017. Now, I think it's going to work for a couple more security patches before Motorola goes ahead and tries to patch this uh, exploit we're using. But currently it is functional basically across the board on Motorola to remove FRP, factory reset protection, which is awesome. So. Without further ado, let's go show you this tool and um, we'll check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. This is my Moto Z Play, and this device has been a factory tree set protection tripped. You can see signing to previously synced Google account. Okay, so you can see that that's what has happened here with this device. So we're going to go ahead and just back out of it. And we're going to run our new Moto Reaper version 5. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we're going to go ahead and run the tool. So here you go. Again, this is brought to you by Phone Lab, um, a very cool online school that will teach you all kinds of cool things and give you tools like this one. So first things first, it just says, you know, welcome. Here's Motor Reaper version five. Uh, let's make fun of FRP. <laughs> That's my developer's little sense of humor. So over here, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and boot this thing into bootloader mode. So to do that, you're just gonna go ahead and power it off. Power off and then you're gonna hold volume down and power at the same time until it boots into bootloader mode. So there you go, you're in bootloader mode. And then go ahead and plug in your USB cable. There it goes. So USB cable is now plugged in. And you can see the program is already going ahead and taking over from here on out and will run everything that needs to happen on the device. So we're just gonna wait and watch as it goes through this. So the first thing it does is it goes ahead and it does preparing the environment um, and it just sets things up for us to run our tools. And while it's doing that and rebooting, you can see here that uh, our developer is GeoSnow and you can see his Twitter uh, handle right here. So that's really, really cool. As well, if you need Motorola drivers, this tool will automatically install them for you in pro as part of the process. So. You can see we're boot back up, so let's just go ahead and hit next and inject. And that's gonna go ahead and reboot the device one more time. And it's just gonna wait for the device to finish rebooting here. And we'll finish some of this process. From here on out, it's pretty much automated. And uh, there's only one basic step you have to do. So it's pretty easy to do. So we're just waiting for the process to take. And uh, it's pretty sweet, pretty sweet setup. So you can see the device is rebooting and uh, it actually is gonna go ahead and reboot a second time. So there are a couple reboots during this process. Just be aware that that's what's gonna take place. Uh, not a big deal. But for the most part, it's pretty automated. So as you can see up here in the top, it says uh, shit is getting real. Again, that's uh, GeoSnow's sense of humor coming out uh, in his tool here. Um, he put a lot of work into this thing and what's really amazing is that this tool we whipped out in 24 hours, so debugging and everything. Um, and if you're interested in it and you want to get your hands on Moto Reaper version 5, definitely go ahead and enroll at Phone Lab. So right now we're just waiting for the final thing to, uh, to happen here, which is allowing ADB. So hit Always Allow and hit OK. And you can see the, the prompt on the computer screen actually shows you all that as well. And that is it right there, guys. We have done it. So while this is happening, I'm just gonna go ahead. You can see the device is rebooting a final time. Just go ahead and click here to visit Phone Lab eCampus. So if you're interested in Phone Lab, you can come right here and uh, check it out. Very awesome online school. Again, over 250 online courses you can take in Phone Lab and really get your skills up to snuff when it comes to taking care of and repairing phones. So there you go. The program is actually done at this point. You can go ahead and just X it out and close it out. And you can see over here on the side that our device has fully rebooted and security FRP is 100% bypassed. 
At this point, we can go in here to the App Store and you'll be able to see that you can now sign into any Google account. So there you go, that is the process. Also while we're in here, I'll just go ahead and do it and jump in here to settings just to show you what we have here. Again, Moto Z Play Droid, Android 7.1.1, and last but not least, security patch level August 1st. So there you go guys, that is the new Moto Reaper version 5.0 hope you enjoyed it so there you go guys that is the tool if you guys are interested in using moto reaper yourself then you need to check out phonelab.teachable.com i'll have a video link in the video description below or below the video here and if you're interested in this if you're interested in learning about phone repairs specifically security bypasses like frp and just really want to learn more about phones then i really highly recommend you go ahead and enroll in phone lab um, it's a very cool school and we teach a ton of stuff with over 250 amazing lessons for you guys to go through um, when you're done with it you can take a test and get uh, our certification for passing the school it's really really cool so if you're interested in it definitely check it out below catch you guys in the next one Brew junkie out